Hey guys, it's Rob Sipak with Paperless Student. In today's video, I will be comparing the differences between Notability and Apple's Notes app. As the title of the video suggests, I am also announcing a giveaway. So stay tuned for more details on that coming up later in the video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe if you're looking for a solution to go paperless with your studies or your business. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you turn on your notifications so you know when I release a new video. A lot of you guys have had problems with bugs following Notability's latest update supporting iPadOS. If you don't already know, they released an update addressing bugs on Thursday. So let's hope that those will resolve most of the bugs that most of you are currently experiencing at the moment. Generally, I have found that iPadOS and iOS 13 are still a bit buggy and applications are just crashing on my phone and iPad and I hope that those get fixed ASAP as well. Before iPad always, this comparison was pointless. We all never bothered with the Apple Notes app because the application was just pathetic. iPad OS 13 has breathed some new life into the application, so now we give it the attention that it deserves. The Apple Notes app is free on all Apple devices that's on your phone, MacBook, and iPad. While it is not exactly the same as having the actual application running on your PC, you can see in your Windows PC browser, you can see the application which is something I wouldn't really rely on it because it doesn't display the notes as accurately and as visibly as I would like it to. Actually, it's a bit dysfunctional, but it's something and I hope that Apple improves the browser version of notes for Windows users. Notability is a one-time purchase application for about $10 on your iOS devices. So you buy one application one time for both your iPhone and iPad. And you can also buy the Mac OS companion of Notability for about $15. And Notability is not available on Windows. For pricing, Notes takes the point. Both applications are not very customizable. Settings for the Notes application are located in the system settings. The Notes app supports only one cloud service, which is iCloud, and it doesn't support any other ones. Whereas Notability syncs your devices via iCloud, but you can also auto backup your notes to other cloud services like Dropbox, Box, WebDAV, etc. And for this reason, I will give one point to Notability. Notability has more customization on how the application looks. I keep telling myself, I'll purchase these themes but I actually never do. You also get a wider variety of paper templates to set for your default paper in Notability than you do in the Notes application. You get more colors and one extra spacing option in Notability. The Notes app only has three and Notability has four. Personally, I use the narrowest option for your squared paper in Notability which is missing in the Notes application. Notability also offers you dotted papers whereas in Notes you only get lined and squared. Notability has better page customization, which is shocking because Notability has the worst page customization in any third party note taking application that we have reviewed on this channel. I guess things could be worse. I can't believe this, but this point goes to Notability. For organization, the Notes app supports folders within folders, giving you more organization options than the ones you get in Notability. Notability only has a two hierarchy system. You get your dividers and subject folders, which will only give you two levels in your organization system. So this point goes to the Notes application. Now let's create a new note in both applications and I'll switch to dark mode to show you guys something. Notability has what I am calling false dark mode, whereas Notes has true dark mode. And as a matter of fact, no third party application has true dark mode. Only the Notes application can adjust your notes according to the mode you have on your iPad, which is very impressive. So if I'm writing in notes, if I'm writing in dark mode in notes, my default pencil or pen color becomes white and it can just easily convert. If I switch back to light mode, it will be black. It just does that automatically. In Notability, not only do you have to select a dark mode page template if you truly want to go dark mode in the application, but if I was using white ink while I was in dark mode, it doesn't get automatically converted to, dark, to a black one when I am not in dark mode. A point for notes. 
Notability has superior writing tools. The pens in Notability look better. They produce better results. The inking tools in Notes make it ideal for rough notes, which is what I am personally using the application for. I honestly can't see myself using the application to create final study notes because the application just doesn't have a fountain pen. But if you find this inking tool good with your handwriting, it is now quite possible to use this to create your final notes because writing in the notes application feels great. The notes application has a great feel when you're writing in the application, second only to Note Shelf 2. However, Notability is the master of handwriting on the iPad because they offer quite a decent range of tools for creating notes and they have far more options in terms of functionality and the things you can do in the application versus the notes application. For the overall productivity, the overall productivity set that you find in the different applications, I will give a point for Notability. Notability is generally a superior note-taking application to the Notes app. The highlighter in Notes, it has improved a lot in iPadOS. I prefer it actually to the one in Notability simply because it doesn't highlight over what I have written. So for this point, I will give it to the Notes app because in Notability, the highlight just dims what you've written. The Notes app has a pencil and a ruler, which Notability doesn't have. I love the pencil tool, but from high school, most of us already know that a pencil is not a serious note-taking tool. It's great to have for drawing though, so if you draw a lot of diagrams when taking your notes, you will definitely love this. You will not need to leave the application to create your diagrams. To celebrate the growth of this channel, I want to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you that has commented, watched, or shared my videos. I greatly appreciate your support. I have 15 redeem codes from three different applications, five from Notability, five from Notshelf 2, and five from GoodNotes 5. To stand a chance to win a redeem code, all you need to do is be subscribed to this channel or be following me on Instagram. Comment on this video and let me know what application you'd like to win. And if you're on Instagram, tag as many friends as you can and don't forget to mention what application you would like to have. I will announce the winners after two weeks. Back to the two applications. Drawing shapes with a ruler. Seriously, I love the ruler tool. I, I love it. Just seeing it there as a decoration in my note-taking application is great. I just don't really enjoy using it as much because drawing a shape and notability is much easier without the use of a ruler. In notes, you have an option to only draw shapes with corners in them. It's a bit primitive to be drawing shapes with rulers in a note-taking application. This is something you do on paper and as much as I appreciate we're trying to replicate what we can do on paper, some things are better off left in the 90s. I'm going to give a point to Notability. In the notes application, you can't actually draw perfect circles because they don't even have a ruler for drawing perfect circles. The audio recording tool in Notability is a winner and that will give another point to Notability because no audio recording tool competes with the Notability or audio recording. Both these applications have vertical scrolling, which I love, but in Notes, the application has no distinct individual pages, which makes it very difficult when exporting your notes out of the application because you don't really know where one page ends and where another one starts. So each time I try to export my notes, they are cut off at the most inconvenient places. In Notability, it's very easy for you to see where a page starts and where it ends. And so for this, I will give a point to Notability. And also speaking about pages in Notability, Ability, you can actually move your pages around which is something that I never appreciated until I came to this application and I just don't have that option. Notability has more exporting options. You can decide the format you want to export from three available ones. You can select the pages you want to export so you don't have to export everything every single time. And there is an option to turn off the page paper template background. You can also add a margin to your notes, your choice. In notes, however, your options are very limited. You can save an image and all your notes that you export they are exported without the paper background which i found a bit of an inconvenience because there are times when i actually want the background in my notes you can export a pdf through the printing option and when exporting to notability the exported file is by default a png image no options are available for you to choose what format you are exporting out of the application and this just makes the notes application ideal for someone who doesn't plan on exporting their notes out of the application for this point i will give it to notability 
You can zoom in and out of your pages in Notability, something which you don't have in the Notes application. Notability even has a dedicated zoom tool. This just allows you to add some more information on a page. For this point, I give it to Notability. Both applications support in-app split view, only the one in Notes is superior because it allows you to open the application in multiple windows with multiple different applications. You can even open the same note in the application twice. And this is very useful for multitasking. Notability's in-app split view doesn't allow you to open the same note twice and Notability can't be opened in multiple windows. And so that point goes to the Notes app. The Notes app supports collaboration on notes, so you can add people to your notes and to folders and allow them to view your notes or to make changes to them. And this is great for teamwork. Notability doesn't have this option. And so that point goes to the Notes app. Adding photos to the Notes app is a bore. Once inserted, you can't adjust the size of your image in the document. You can only decide whether it's a large image or a small one. You can't even crop your image or rotate it. All these options are actually available in Notability where you can actually crop your image, you can move it, you can rotate it and do all of that in Notability. So I will give a point to Notability on that one. Notability supports PDF annotation. You can work on PDFs with hyperlinks in them and have them stand alone as a document. In the notes application, a PDF file is a file attachment. It's attached to your notes. You open it independently in the markup window, which if you ask me is not the best approach to PDF annotation. It works, it has its place, but it's not the same as having your PDF in the application and being able to annotate it in the application. Notability approach on this one is much better so i will give a point to notability the notes application supports videos Ta -da! obviously notability doesn't if you can have a video in your notes why not this just makes digital note taking that much cooler that brings me to the end of this video i would say that the notes application has become a worthy contender against third-party applications it is definitely worth giving a try before you go purchase a paid handwriting note taking application um this video was just a comparison to highlight the differences between the two applications but they do have a lot of things that they have in common. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.